Welcome to another e-learning class. Um, today we're going to look at blood flow and anatomy of the heart. So blood flow around the heart and around the body is an important part of exercise and for you to understand the way the heart works I'm going to show you a very simple diagram that you may be able to replicate on the day of your theory exam and also use to help you to understand exactly how the blood flows around the body. So we're going to start off with a little square at the top here and I'm just going to pop the letter L into that. That stands for the lungs so this represents the pulmonary uh, part of the vascular system so lungs at the top. We're then going to put a square underneath it and divide it into four not very evenly. This square represents the heart itself. The heart obviously isn't a square in, in, in the texture anatomy, but for our purposes this is fine. Into the squares we're going to pop LA into the top left and LV into the bottom left. It's a mirror image remember so this represents the left side. So the LA stands for left atrium, you can make a note of that, and the LV represents left ventricle. So on the other side, therefore, we have the right atrium and the right ventricle. So we have our heart. At the bottom, another box, and we're going to put into this one WM. And the WM in this stands for working muscles. So these are all the, this represents all of the working muscles in the body. It's a very simplified sketch, obviously. We're now going to show you the main roots around the heart in terms of the way the blood flows. So from the lungs into the left atrium the blood flow flows via the pulmonary vein. Okay, remember veins bring blood into the heart and arteries take it away from the heart. So when the blood arrives into the left atrium from the lungs in, via the pulmonary vein it travels down into the left ventricle. The left ventricle then contracts and forces the blood out via the aorta which is by the way the largest artery in the body. Remember arteries taking blood away from the heart. They are, the aorta then takes the, the blood through the arterial field or lots and lots of arteries and arterioles right the way through the body, through all of the working muscles. When all of that oxygenated blood has been used, it is then returned from the working muscles via this vein, which is the largest vein in the body, and this is called the vena Carver. So the vena cava carries the blood back into the right atrium, the blood flows into the right ventricle, the right ventricle pumps this now deoxygenated blood back into the lungs via the pulmonary artery. So here we have this very simple diagram that shows us blood flow around the heart. So from the lungs, the pulmonary part of the, of the systemic blood flow. From the lungs, via the pulmonary vein, into the left atrium, the blood flows into the left ventricle. This big left ventricle pumps, it fires blood out via the aorta, through the arterial field, to the working muscles. When the oxygenated blood is spent, it's then sent back via the vena cava and the venula field, which is all the veins of the body and venules, into the right atrium. It then flows into the right ventricle. That right ventricle pulses and it forces the blood back. Now, of course, under less pressure because it's not oxygenated now, back into the lungs and the whole system starts again. So I hope that's going to help you. Remember, just draw that diagram, work on it, try and remember it, 
and replicate it. I hope that's been useful to you and I'll speak to you soon.